<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 15 gameplay, some Mutt gameplay. Got a subscriber match here, man. Going to get sorry, bro. <laughs> but no, that's his name. His name is actually Striker Gamer 200. If you hear any sounds in the background, it sounds of my beautiful son. He's right here chilling with me as I'm doing his commentary right here. My opponent has the 49ers jerseys, my favorite team. I'm assuming it's his favorite team, too. He has the jerseys. We're in the 49ers stadium. And he has Joe Montana. As I get the user pick right here with Sean Smith. Give me that pick, boy. <laughs> shout, out to, uh, shout out to D.D. General on that, man. I was watching a little bit of his videos um, <laughs> before I was watching this. At any rate, man, uh, um, right here, oh, yeah, also, also got to tell you guys something. I totally forgot about this game. So this is two games before you see some Jamal Charles gameplays. When Jamal Charles 91 overall gameplay. So if you're anticipating that, and, and the two more games, this game right here, and then the next game, and then Jamal Charles gameplay. I told you guys in my update video, you had one more game, but I totally forgot about this game. I was looking through my roller decks. You know how I used to put games and um in, in like other slots so I could kind of save it and not mess up. Uh, not necessarily mess up, but not gain too much memory. On my actual laptop, I, I stopped doing that because the rendering started messing up, and I think that's part part of the reason why. Is I kicked the field goal right here on the fourth down and two, so I I kind of sometimes I go back and check out certain um as I get to pick right there with Lance Briggs. And sometimes I go back and check out certain games, see see what I have before I start putting newer games um <laughs> on here. So um yeah, if that makes sense to you, you understand what I'm saying? As I hit Greg Olson right here for the second time on his job, man. To try to find a way to get into the end zone, man. Make the score 10 to nothing. First down and goal. I don't see anybody outside the side of the run. I try to take off and I'm going to get sacked right there. Good defense, my point. This guy has some really good red zone defense, man. Red, red zone defense was close to impeccable, man. It was just hard for me to get in there at times, man. As you can see, I, I didn't get in there last time. I only got three points. He get in, didn't get in there this time. I only got three points out of it again. So, man, this could have been a 14 to nothing explosion. Early in this contest, but because of his outstanding zone defense, it's only six to nothing. So he has the ball right here. I see if he can take the lead, man. He drops back. I think he's trying to be a little bit more cautious about where he's throwing the ball. He's already thrown two picks, so that's kind of good. I'm kind of in his head just a little bit. You know, you always try to strive to defeat your opponent as he gets that fourth and one right there. I mean, fourth and inches. I'm sorry. First down to ten. He goes over the middle and catches it. My goodness, man. Some of the catches that he caught in this game was just. <laughs> was was wow factor man he gets a nice spin man that spin was sick man i rewinded that spin about four or five times as i was watching this video so i won't get the pick right there again man third down to one to see what he can do he does a counter i thought i had him right there but my man ran past him i don't know what jamal charles that is i didn't even look at my man's team i just thought we just started playing i usually look at people's teams as i get the user pick right there and oh yeah another thing this is um this is the game when I actually had the Jack Lambert 92 overall, so I'm kind of glad I showed you guys this game to give you guys a little bit more gameplay with him because it was a pretty beastly card, man. He definitely uh, helped me out, man. So I thought the needle was a Wayne Bow right there, man. So yeah, you can tell this is a little. Bit, it's not old. It's not old, old, but a little bit old because I Odell Beckham's not even starting in this game. So trying to figure out a way to get into the end zone. I decided to take off and run right there. Got a few yards did better than what I did last time. End of the second quarter, I hit Greg Olsen again, man. Greg Olsen had a lot of catches in this contest. My goodness, man. First down to go, I hit Dwayne Bow right there, and I finally get my first touchdown of the game. My goodness, man. It took me three tries to come down there and get a touchdown, man, but I finally got it. And, uh, hey, I, I, I'll take it, man. So I, I got a 13-0 lead and the ball I had, so I can't really say nothing too bad, man. I do a plastic fake. Um, do my nice little tight end screen right there. I, I think I'm the only one that runs a tight end screen, man. It's one of my favorite plays in the game. I think it's a, uh, I think it's an awesome play. Third, fourteen. I try to go over the middle. I forced that. That was my fault, man. He, I, I deserve to get that bad now. I forced that. I seen the three guys there. He, he should have picked. He should have picked that off, but he didn't, man. So he has the ball right here. First down, ten. Let's see what he can do, man. Can he finally come down and get a score, man? I wonder what Jamal, not Jamal Charles, but Marshawn Lynch just said. This guy was breaking. He's breaking quite a few ta tackles, has some beastly moves and all. I don't have the best defense, but he definitely had some uh, some moments where he was a beast. There goes another one of those catches, man, on that third down and ten. Like, man, you got to be kidding me, man. Should have picked that off, but I didn't toss it. He, he liked this little toss, man. Toss to the right right here. Gets a couple yards, man. Third down and six, play action fake. And this is another oh, no, this one was wide open. That was a pretty fair catch right there. That's, it's one more that he catches, man. I'm not sure if it's this one or the next one, but it's one more catch that he catches. I'm just, that just was like, whoa. That was crazy, man. Third down and four. He goes to the left right here. Nice little wide receiver screen, but I end up sacking him right there. What tackling him right there. Fourth. This, here it is right here. 
runs to the left and throws to the right, and my man catches it with one hand behind his back on a four from five. I'm like, man, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, I can't even believe that just happened, man. I'm like, yeah, you got it, though. But he ends up getting a touchdown right here, making the score 13 to 7. So now we have a game, man. So now I gotta get a little bit more laser sharp. I gotta get a little bit more vintage, a little bit more prime. I'm doing plays right here that I know will work. Usually when I'm in tough situations like this, I gotta do what works, you know what I mean? I can't can't do nothing too fancy. You know, you gotta know I like to do a lot of different plays and try different stuff throughout the game. But you know, it's crunch, crunch time right here, man. I can't be I can't be doing nothing silly, man. As I almost get sacked. Well, actually, I do get sacked right there. Second down at 20. I hit the boy Mike Wallace. He gets a nice little juke. And look at this. My goodness, man. On the second and 20. Mike Wallace gets a huge game. I just knew I was going to have to punt the ball after he sacked me right there, man. But I'll take that, man. Second down to 8. I throw it over the middle. Took it. That was a little risky. A little risky for me right here. But, um... I ended up completing that pass, hitting Greg Olson together. Greg Olson had had about 10 or 11 catches in this game. My goodness, man, he was an absolute monster. I tried to stuff it in with Marshawn Lynch right there, but I do on that play right there. Taking a comfortable 19-7 lead, go for two. I hit Dwayne Bow again, man, wide open, man. One of my favorite plays in the game, man, that, that crossing route and the angle route at the same time. is It's kind of hard to um, defend because it's really, it's, if you don't know it's coming, it's hard to figure out which one you want to want to guard, and if you're a guy like me that likes to use the middle linebacker, you know you just uh you just don't know which one to guard. <laughs> it is kind of difficult just to know. But right here, as you can see, man, five seconds left uh, in the contest. He's just going to try to get a touchdown for keepsake right here. One more play, and I end up getting an interception right here with Kendrick Lewis, man. So yeah, that is the ball game right there. Um. Quick game analysis. I think I'm just a little bit better, but he, but he put up a good fight, man. Only beat him by two touchdowns. Not like I blew him out. 17 for 20 from the field for Aaron Rodgers, man, which is quite uh, quite lovely. You guys know I like those efficient stats. It's your boy, Lance Pair, one more time. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and we're out. Unless you got something to say, man. You good? Yeah, I guess he's good. <laughs>